different penguins actually dive into different nets. Uh, you've got about um, 20 species of different penguins in the southern hemisphere. Uh, this little guy is a juvenile Humboldt penguin. Uh, they don't dive very deep, they can only stay underwater for about 10 minutes. Uh, however, for example, the emperor penguins have been recorded to dive into the depths of 500 meters and they can stay underwater for about 20 minutes. Okay, well the penguins in the wild, they can only live about uh, 15 years. Uh, the penguins here in captivity, they can actually live up to 30 to even 40 years. Uh, that's mainly because of the care that we actually give them. They haven't got any predators here in captivity and they've got obviously excellent veterinary care. Ricky is doing incredibly well here at the Penguin Beach. He has recently built a little nest for himself. Uh, he does interact with a lot of our penguins here. He does interact with us as well, although we are still on the lookout for his girlfriend. Um, so fingers crossed, uh, he'll be meeting his missus very soon. Penguins come from uh, all sorts of different areas. All penguins come from the Southern Hemisphere. Um, and uh, they can come from warm and cold countries. Uh, things like Humboldt penguins, they come from off coast of Chile and uh, they come from really, really hot places during summer. It can get up to 35 degrees. During winter, it can get really cold. So they can handle both temperatures. Uh, penguins such as jackass penguins or the black-footed penguins, they come from South Africa, so again from really hot places. And then of course you've got the really sort of cold weather penguins, things like emperor penguins that come from Antarctica, from a really, really cold uh, freezing places. So penguins feet can't really freeze because they can actually control the blood flow into their feet. So during really cold weather when they're standing on their feet on the ice, they can actually reduce the blood flow, blood flow into their feet and their feet are only above a sort of a degree or so higher than the actual temperature, so that way uh, they don't freeze. So penguins' favorite food in the wild are obviously fish, uh, krill and different sea creatures. The penguins at the Penguin Beach here at Zeta London Zoo uh, eat fish, and the fish that we actually give them is called capelin, which is a little bit like a sardine. So at the moment we have a breeding season that's just started on the Penguin Beach. Uh, we're hoping we're going to get some eggs soon and uh, each egg, especially for the Humboldt penguin species, takes about 40 to 42 days to incubate. The female would be sat on the egg uh, and uh, the chick will then stay in the nest box with its mum for up to almost three months. Well, my favourite penguin species would actually have to be a rockhopper penguin because of the lovely yellow tufts they've got on their feathers. And also working with Ricky, I know that um, rockhoppers are quite tough little animals. Uh, Ricky's got amazing personality. Also working with Humboldt penguins made me really like Humboldt penguins. But um, obviously all of the penguin species are my favourite because of how brilliantly adapted they are to their environment and to how they feed.